Hey guys, I got a comment recently where somebody was asking me to share my thoughts on the difference between a one-stage heat pump and a variable speed heat pump. I think the easiest way to explain this is to compare it to cars. So for example, if we take a Toyota Prius, a regular Prius that runs on gas, this would be the single-stage heat pump. And then we have a hybrid Toyota Prius. This would be the variable speed heat pump. It's gonna be more efficient, but it's also gonna cost more up front. Just like a hybrid vehicle saves you money on gas, a variable speed heat pump saves you money on your electric bill. But let's talk about prices. Prices have gone crazy lately, and I'm sure this is not just HVAC, this is all over the place. Back when I started about 10 years ago in HVAC, I remember that installing a brand new heat pump, a single stage unit, was around $3,500. And if you're going with something top of the line, highest efficiency, carrier infinity, whatever, that was around five to $6,000. But nowadays, $10,000 quotes for installing a new single stage unit are pretty normal. And if we're talking about high efficiency units, the prices on those are even more wild. They range from 15 to 25,000, depending on the company that's installing it, your location, and what brand you're getting. But if you wanna save money on a new install, I always recommend getting multiple quotes from a few different companies. Oftentimes, you're gonna see some pretty dramatic price differences between all the quotes. Variable speed heat pumps are definitely more efficient though, and they're gonna save you about 40 to 60% on your electric bill on average. But these numbers mainly apply if you're replacing an older unit. If the unit that you're replacing is fairly new, then the energy savings probably won't be nearly as dramatic. Likely, they're gonna be 20 to 30%. If you've replaced your single stage air conditioner or heat pump with a variable stage unit in the last five years, I would love to hear your testimony. How much did that cost you up front? And did you see any energy savings on your bill? Please do share because I find these comments a lot more credible than just some numbers on a graph. Some companies don't have too much of a price jump between the single stage units that they sell and the variable speed ones, but there are many companies that do have a pretty big price jump. So for example, if you're gonna pay $10,000 more for a variable speed unit compared to a single stage, imagine how much energy savings you would need to be able to recoup that $10,000. You probably won't. For this reason, I personally don't like when companies stress energy savings as their main selling point for their variable speed heat pumps or air conditioners or furnaces, because really, I don't think the savings are worth it. But I'm not saying this to bash on variable speed units. They are indeed nice units. They are more efficient, they run more quietly, and oftentimes they maintain a more consistent temperature throughout the house than a single stage unit would. Are those extra benefits worth the extra $10,000? For some people, they are. But if money is a big concern for you, then most likely single stage is a much better option. There is, however, one more big negative about variable speed units, and that is the price of their parts. They're generally a lot more expensive than the parts on a single stage unit. So if you do get a variable speed heat pump or air conditioner or furnace, I would highly recommend getting a 10 year warranty on that, at least for the parts or better yet for parts and labor you most likely will be using that warranty, and if you're unlucky, you're gonna be using it quite a bit. I read a comment about this that I thought was pretty wild, so let me share it with you quick. This person says that he loves his variable speed train and that his utility bill went down by $100 per month. Then he continues to explain how amazing it is, and at the end, he says that just about every single major component in it was replaced. The evaporator, the compressor, the board, and the condenser all of them were replaced under warranty. And then he ends the comment with, so I hope it'll last a little longer. From what I've seen in the field, variable speed units tend to break down a little bit more often than single stage units. Any of the repairs that he listed, like the compressor going out, if that went out and he wasn't under warranty, he most likely would have been buying a brand new unit altogether. And talking about failing components, I also wanted to mention that if you're getting a brand new variable speed unit installed, whether it be a furnace, an air conditioner, or a heat pump, I would highly recommend asking that company to install a surge protector on that unit. Or you could also install it yourself after they leave. I have a video on how to do that if you need it. Talking about other videos, I'm just about done with this one, but if you're interested for some more information, I have two other videos that you might find interesting. 
in the first video, I go over C ratings, how variable speed units work, and just more details, numbers, and information about high efficiency units than what I covered in this video. And in the second video, I talk about how often HVAC units should be replaced. I'll put links to those videos in the comment section. And that is all I had for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, listen to this. I wanted to buy a pair of camouflage pants, but I couldn't find any. And do you know what happens to a doctor when he gets frustrated? He loses his patience.